What's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create BHDs that you can use on the AO486 core for Mr. I'll also show you how to format those VHDs in Windows so you can copy files to them and have them ready to be used in AO486. This tutorial is for Windows and we will be creating the VHDs using the Windows Disk Management utility. We will also need to install AOMEI Partition Assistant. The standard edition is free. I'll provide a link to where to download it in the description. Okay, so to create the VHD, let's first open up the Windows Disk Management Utility. You can type disk in the search box to the bottom left and then click on the Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions result and the Disk Management Utility will load. Next, click on the Action menu. Then click on Create VHD. On the window that pops up and in the Location section, Click on Browse and select a folder you want to save the VHD to and also give it a name. I'm going to name mine AO486DOS. Then click Save. Now let's set the size of the image. I'm going to set the size of my image to 500 megabytes. You can set it to a different size if you want. Just remember that DOS 6.22 has a maximum partition size of 2 gigabytes. If you make VHDs larger than 2 gigabytes, you will have to split them into multiple partitions in DOS. For virtual hard disk format, leave it set to VHD. And for hard disk type, select fixed size. Click OK and the virtual hard disk will start being created. And we can see a new 500 megabyte disk appear in the disk management utility. When it's done, we're ready to format it. Or you can start using this VHD in A046 to install DOS to. But let me first show you how to format it and copy files to it, in case you already have DOS installed in AO46. To format it, close the Disk Management Utility and open up the Partition Assistant program. The reason we are using a third-party app is because, for some reason, formatting this disk using FAT16 on Windows will not work when loading it up in DOS in AO46. You will still have to manually create and format the partition in AO486. But the formatting does work with Partition Assistant. So I have Partition Assistant open here. I locate the disk I created. It's easy to find because it's 500 megabytes. Now I right click it. Then click on Create Partition. Leave everything as is except for the file system. Change that to FAT. And click OK. Now click on Apply on the top left, click Proceed, then click Yes. When it's done, you will get a prompt telling you so. The drive letter assigned was H. For you, it might be different. Now I can copy files onto the H drive. So I'll copy some shareware games onto the H drive. After they are copied, I have to open up the Disk Management Utility and detach the VHD I created before copying to the Mr. FPGA SD card. So on Disk Management, right click on the disk we created, then click on Detach VHD, and click OK. Now transfer the VHD to the AO46 directory. I'm now using DOS under AO486. I'll go into the AO486 menu and choose IDE 0-1. Then select the AO486 DOS VHD I created and then select Reset and Apply. Now if I go to the D drive and list its contents, I should see the files I copied to the VHD. And there they are. You can also copy the VHD back into your computer to copy even more files. To copy more files to a VHD on your computer, attach it in the Windows Disk Management Utility. Then copy files into it. And copy the VHD back to the AO486 directory on the Mr. SD card. But if you want a more convenient method, it's much better to transfer file using the Mr. FS program. Check out my video that shows you how to use it. I'll provide a link in the description. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a like. 
And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and its bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.